Welcome to the video my friends, I hope you're all keeping well and today something a little different. We're taking a look at SnowRunners from Sabre Interactive developer and publisher Focus Home Interactive who sent me the key to take a look at SnowRunners and it's pretty good. Uh, key features on the website, face extreme environments, definitely, in a highly advanced physics engine, definitely. Four unique vehicles to unlock, upgrade and customize, it's pretty, it's pretty neat, uh, let me just tell you about it. Complete dozens of challenging missions across an interconnected world, go solo or play with other players in four player co-op and that's where it shines in that four player co-op now of course i've got gameplay in the background here for you now i i unlocked this hummer in uh, alaska and it took me probably an hour to, to get this thing you, you find it it's, it's sunk in the uh the water the lake and you've got to drag it out with another vehicle all the way back to your garage and then it becomes yours but that was about an hour's worth of gameplay just getting that hummer back to camp and that was Oh my god, getting stuck, winching myself on trees, then re-winching to the Hummer. It was mental. But playing co-op, you can always, you know, help each other. You can you can get winched to your friend. Your friend can pull you out. Um, we, we usually go, um, well, I was playing with Lukage and a little bit with Kirk as well. And just helping each other to get these challenges done, you know. So if you've got to take bricks, metal, you can only take like two loads of bricks. If you've got to take two bricks, two metal and some wood, you've got to... Unless you want a trailer and then you can double up as well as your flatbed on your truck. You can take, you know, four loads, but it's so hard when you've got a trailer. Trust me, it's so hard. So me and Lukage was loading up like separately. So he'd have two bricks. I'd have two wood, say, and then we'd both get to the same mission together. And if we got stuck, he'd tow me out, uh, especially if I flipped, uh, which happened a lot. And Lukage saved my ass winching me out because if you haven't got the uh, upgraded winch, if your engine stores, you can't winch yourself out. So having a friend there to winch you out. Of course, if you're solo, you can always call another vehicle out. If you don't want to go and recover yourself back to the garage because you've made a lot of progress, you can call another vehicle out to save yourself. But uh, yeah, there's a, it can get pretty tense. Even though it's a slow, methodical off-road with real great physics, when you get in close to an objective and then you make a mistake, you flip up or you get stuck, oh my God, the tension and the... At the stress levels they build up they build up even though it's so slow compared to the usual games i cover on this channel it's um and it's addictive it is addictive we have put so many hours into snow runners the last few days um and, and, and luca just said himself he's he's addicted anytime he gets he gets on there and he's trying to find new trucks new upgrades you can put off-road tires you can put mud ripper tires on the big with the big big knobblies and rip through the snow in the mud you can uh, raise your vehicle up with different suspension get different four-wheel drive systems on there differentials low and high ratio gearboxes big vehicles big trucks little trucks you can just get little well I'll say the hummer as a chevy 4x4 pickup truck really nice once it's upgraded not so good standard but you get those upgrades around the map a lot of exploring unlock those upgrades and uh, you can have a really good time in the in the standard pickup trucks uh the uh scout cars uh, so they're meant for scouting ahead you can also use them for taking things smaller things and picking things up and dropping them off you know sometimes it's easier with a scout truck you can get through smaller gaps in say um, rocky areas maybe where there's huge boulders making a small path that a truck couldn't get through you may be able to find some shortcuts and things like that but uh once you get those big trucks and they're upgraded oh my you tear through you tear through that mud and snow like it's nobody's business but believe me there are still points where you get stuck and it's when you get in the deep water that it gets dangerous and uh ooh, when you've got a big load of uh stuff on your trailer and you've got to detach and leave that trailer behind and have another attempt it's not so easy it becomes a challenge a real challenge and like i said with a friend it can be a lot easier and a lot more fun you have you have a good laugh like uh it, it, as you always do in a co-op game so i'll leave you with a bit of gameplay anyway of me and lukage just exploring off-roading and mostly lukage pulling me off because i'm laid on my back all the time so uh yeah, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and I'll see you peeps next time. Oh, I see. Oh, fuck, I should have brought the, uh, the DLC card, maybe. Oh, shit. Hey, I probably should have gone to the left or right. I keep doing that, going dead center. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think that, that one's going to uh, struggle. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. That's the mud rippers, that is. Come on. Come on, you got it. 
I'm not waiting. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. Oh. oh. Took it. I took it out of low, and it just shot forward. Give give you a little nudge now. Go on. Yeah. Come on. There we go. There we go. We will get this job done. Yeah, there's another bit we got to get through. Oh. It's one powerful little truck. 5.2 litre engine, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this one could be sticky. I actually watched quite a few um, like proper off-road videos a while ago on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I quite enjoy that kind of stuff. Woohoo! Bit of money as well. We gotta go through here. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, for that car. Go sell it for a bit of money. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I'll put it in low and creep past and drag you out. That's the first time I've done it to you, isn't it? Yeah. Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, there's quite a lot. If you think about it, you've got Island Lake to unlock. The maps are pretty big as well. Drummond Island. Then you've got Alaska, and there's four places there. Then you've got Tamir, which is another three places, and it looks more like tropical. Actually, looks pretty cool over there. So there's quite a lot in the game, and customization and things. I've got mudslinger tires on my... Uh, Truck now. A black truck. Is that the same as me? Is that what I had on mine? Yeah, the biggest ones I got. Should be able to dig through that mud. Oh yeah, I'm stuck. Not had any massive bugs, have we? Just your crashing, which we think is just your PC overheating a bit anyway. Yeah. Seems pretty slick for first release. Right, I'm good. I got past that bit. I totally I forgot I could winch. I am well and truly stuck. I think Kirk is having fun in Alaska, but he just messaged me saying he may have fallen off a mountain. <laughs> uh. Uh. I'm stuck, mate. Like, oh, shit. Totally. I can't reverse. I can't go forward. Might be able to get to you if I drop this shell. I thought I'd... Uh... Oh, I see it. Because it's dark. I'm st literally stuck on a rock, the looks of it. Um, oh, no. Okay, yeah, you're not too far from me. Is there bricks down there, then? Oh, yeah, there's a warehouse like, down there. Uh, by the... Oh, on the other side of the dam. Yeah. What are you doing in there? Well, there's a ro road which goes to the back end of the farm. I thought it'd be easier than... Oh, have you got the bricks? Yeah, I got them. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come to you. Oh, son of a son of a bitch! There's a pond on this farm. So, 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 son of a bitch! I just thought it'd be easier than trying to go through that. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, gonna reverse up. Boom. Four grand. Holy shit. Oh, that's a nice bit of money in the pocket. Yeah, I, I've put it into lower gear. I can put it into a lower gear again from there. Oh, it pulls me well. I was, pro I was proper stuck there. It just pulled me out of it. It's it, though. Like, when you're on your own, you're kind of screwed. But if you've got friends, it's not too bad. Yeah. Right. 
Press, uh, knock, knock the gear back up. Almost on the road, mate. Oh, get you oh yeah. Oh, well, that was just a test there. See how capable you were. Did well, you passed. Do I get, I get the job? You got the job, yeah. Um. um. Okay. Uh, should I see if I can pull your front down? Yeah. Yeehaw! Oh yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. This water looks so good. It does that. Oh! <laughs> just, just, just slid. Oh shit, yeah. Oh. I think that is really bad on the snow for that though, when you get to the snowy areas. Oh! Is that that little tree that just threw me over? I think it was the bad driving. Cool, oh, it could be, yeah. Bit of that as well. Oh! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! My hero. It's hard to uh, pick the right winch points. Yeah, I found that. Pain in the ass, that's what it is. I did 14 damage to my engine just hitting you. Oh, ouch. I didn't feel it. Here we go. This will be a nice challenge. Yeah, I'm not sure he's supposed to get a truck down here. Yeah? Hmm. Because this is the main road into the farm. Yeah, actually weren't a challenge. Oh, no, I actually spoke too soon. Nope. Oh, no, nope, there we go. 